any medication that comes onto the market, the company that brings it onto the market would take out a patent right on it, which gives it exclusive rights to sell that medication for the next 20 years. And because all the antiretrovirals have only been developed in the last 15 years, all of the antiretrovirals, all the medications that we can really use to treat people with HIV are still under patent right, which means that one company can decide how much of it are they going to produce and what, at what price and what cost. And then you say, well, what is the price charged and what is the cost actually incurred? And, and what we're saying is that the prices that are charged for these drugs are, are really substantially higher and are excessive. A generic drug is a bioequivalent of a brand name drug. So a generic is it's exactly it's the same drug. It's manufactured by a different company. It has the same chemical ingredient. It works the same in your body. It's for all intents and purposes exactly the same. It just doesn't carry the same brand name. In the public health sector, we still don't have the medications because of the cost. And that's why we as MSF have decided to import these medicines from Brazil. There are two reasons why we are in Brazil. The first is our government does not have a proper program to treat people with HIV. We are here to witness what the Brazilian AIDS program is about. The second reason we're here is also to look at cheaper medicines. We want to see how the Brazilian government has beaten the international drug companies to make medicines affordable for their people. We came to Brazil to see the, the pharmaceutical company, which they call the Pharma Guinness, which produces the, the generic medicines for the antiretroviral drugs. I'm an MSF uh, patient who's taking the antiretroviral drugs. So I'll, I'm here to take the antiretroviral drugs to, to my country because I've, I've seen that the antiretroviral drugs uh, can save the lives of the people who are HIV positive. O Brasil tem o melhor sistema de saúde que eu já vi para os países em desenvolvimento. Por quê? porque ele é, dá o medicamento, ele não só atende no hospital, no esporte de saúde, como dá o, 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 os medicamentos é, livremente para a população. Ela não precisa é, pagar nenhum dinheiro por eles. E aqui a equipe técnica de Farmanguins recebeu essa demanda do Ministério na medida que, por força de lei, força governamental, nós temos na nossa legislação, o governo tem que é atender rico ou pobre que tenha AIDS dando os medicamentos livremente se não ele é processado. A voluntary license is a license that the brand name manufacturer gives on their own accord and they agree to another company manufacturing their product. So even though they have the patent and the patent allows them to exclude all competition, a voluntary license is something that they say we are prepared to give you a license to manufacture this product. What a compulsory license is, is when, when they don't agree to grant a voluntary license or they agree to grant a license and the terms and conditions are, are not favorable or not reasonable. It would operate in exactly the same way except the license is not voluntarily given by the manufacturer, it's, it's ordered by a court. Então, acontece o seguinte, é, uh, nós, no, o Ministério da Saúde começou a perceber que, devido aos altos preços, eles não teriam como atender o número crescente de pessoas que estavam infectadas pelo vírus HIV. E aí tinha que dar uma solução, porque era obrigado por lei, senão seria processado. Então, é, eles recorreram a Farmanguinhos naquele momento, porque sabia que era um laboratório que pertence ao Ministério da Saúde, um laboratório público e com competência técnica capaz de desenvolver esses produtos de forma que eles seja, que fossem bioequivalentes aos remédios de marca. OK? Que tivesse a mesma qualidade. The key problem is that all of the antiretroviral drugs that are that are available are, are patented. We are using the generic versions of patented drugs and the drug companies might say you're breaking the patent law. We believe we have to put the health of our patients above the rights of companies to make unjust profits. 
Quer dizer, então, eu fiz o Efavirente, está sob patente, a Merck baixou o preço. Nós fizemos o Leofinavi, que está sob patente, a, 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 a Rocha baixou o preço. Essa redução de custo, que foi assim, diminuiu o número de mortes das pessoas no país, diminuiu o número de internações no hospital, né, possibilitando as pessoas terem uma vida normal, uma vida é, é, plena, trabalharem tudo isso, e isso a, a, é, diminuiu... Possibilitou também uma diminuição de despesas do Ministério. Com isso, ele aumentou de 80 mil para 100 mil o tratamento. Das 500 notificações, 500 mil notificações que a gente tem. Então, está tratando já 100 mil pacientes. Half of the patients that we are treating at the moment would have been dead by now if it wasn't for these medicines. And as a doctor, you have to take a decision. And I would encourage all doctors to strongly push the government to actually issue a compulsory license. A compulsory license is a law which would allow South African companies to start producing these medicines themselves. In fact, the World Trade Organization in Doha last year, where they discussed this issue, clearly gave the go-ahead to developing countries to use the right to issue compulsory licenses to overrule patent rights if it is in an emergency. O programa foi feito com uma consciência muito grande que antes a vida, depois é o lucro. Drug companies in South Africa say that you are making a loss and that you're subsidizing it. Uh, that's why the prices are so low of your antiretrovirals. Correto, não tem nada subsidiado. Aqui, é, eu inclusive meus funcionários não são pagos pelo Estado porque se eles fossem pagos, até diria para você que haveria um subsídio, mas eles não são. Quem paga a mão de obra de farmanguinhos é a produção que farmanguinhos faz. The drug companies say that you use cheap and slave labor in your factories. Esse é o primeiro ponto, não há subsídio. Segundo, trabalho escravo, entendeu? É o que eles fazem com o terceiro mundo, né? Que ficam endividando o terceiro mundo para poder, entendeu, enriquecer o grupo dos sete. Isso é trabalho escravo. Quando a gente trabalha, entendeu? E todo o nosso fruto do nosso trabalho vai para enriquecer os, os G7, os países já ricos. Porque isso, para esse objetivo do FMI, nos deixar sempre dependentes, sempre subordinados, e aí somos escravos dele. Mudou-se a lei da escravidão por outra lógica, a globalização FMI. Tá certo? Então, não tem trabalho escravo. Glaxo welcomes Combive, that is Zivodin and Lamovudin, cost 811 rand per patient per month. Buringa's Viramun, that is Nevarapin, cost 365 rand per patient per month. The total cost of this triple therapy is 1,176 rand. The generic equivalent of this combination from Farmanguinos in Brazil is 450 rand per patient per month. So we could treat twice as many people as we're doing today. And even lower prices are available from other generic manufacturers in India and Thailand. We have decided that the life of a patient cannot be put under the patent right. This will allow us potentially to double the number of patients we'll put under treatment and by no way patents could be a barrier to that. We want the government to demonstrate the political will to bring the Medicines Act into operation, to ensure that they're compulsory licenses so that we can have local production of generic medicines, to ensure that the price comes down and that we can treat people. The door is open for this country to produce its own medicines and do that with the knowledge that there will be massive international support for this kind of action by the South African government. Above all, do it because it will save lives and put our response to HIV in this country back in, in, on track.